Few suburbs can boast their own museum where residents have preserved their community history and pulled documents and artefacts to share with visitors and newcomers to their area. Last month, a group of Brookfield locals opened their new attraction at the showgrounds and as Doug Murray discovered, neighbouring Pullenvale provided the building. For a century and a half, activity at Brookfield showground has charted growth in the district. From the time the land was tilled, Agricultural shows have featured produce from Brisbane's early salad bowl. Pioneers discovered leisure activity on top of their four-legged workers. Like men in the Ballard family, Sister Rita cut a stylish figure on horseback. I've got uh, great-grandchildren coming on, so I'd hope they'd come and appreciate all the work that's been done down here. Rita welcomes a museum to showcase several generations of family history. The 134-year-old structure looks part of the showground complex. However, it's a ring-in. From neighbouring Pullenvale, the old post office was rescued from the scrap heap, purchased for a token dollar and relocated to house some treasured mementos like Gran's hat and gloves. She was the eldest of about nine children. She didn't go to school much. She stayed home and read the children. Elaine Cahoon moved from Camp Hill 40 years ago when the council evicted her horses. I never knew just how unique it was. Elaine watched her suburb gentrify to blue ribbon status with a horsey feel and a healthy dose of community spirit. The people who all work together to make the showgrounds and that's the thing of what it is today. I've seen the other capital cities. There's nowhere else in Australia where you can be 12 miles from the GPO and still have acreage. Historian Brendan Ryan traces Brookfield's specialness to a geographical quirk lying adjacent to Brisbane Forest Park. It's because of the dead end roads, Doug. Uh, I think people uh, in the rest of Brisbane haven't discovered uh, Brookfield. You, you come out here for a reason, you're not travelling through to somewhere else. Gold Creek Road leads to Brisbane's original water supply, where young Brian Lay spent his early years with his caretaker dad. Yeah, got a lot of affection for it because uh, growing up there as a kid, yeah, it was really good. Yeah. The dam structure is heritage listed, Brian still lives along the creek. His photos might find a home at the museum. A lot of families say that, you know, once I pass on, my kids are likely to throw the stuff out. In that case, there'd be a lot of memorabilia that we would never, ever see. Sel Bozel, museum project coordinator, knows there's a wealth of stuff handy because Brookfield folk are a loyal bunch. I visit other places, but I come back to Brookfield. Yeah, it's a good part of Brisbane. Stay with us. On